What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how to fix post malware removal problems now if you're going to be doing any of these things I will take no responsibility if your system breaks or crashes or any loss of data to your system or anything like that okay so this will be done at your own risk but what we're going to be covering here is if you've removed all the malware from your system and you're sure it's all gone then sometimes when malware has been removed it leaves problems with your system so we're going to be using some programs to fix some of these issues like missing icons um, check permissions which are like your permissions have been changed or host file may be uh, damaged or changed services may be missing internet may not be working properly windows updates firewall and stuff like that okay now these are free programs to download and you use them at your own risk so let's get started anyway so the first thing I would do is I would look at say Microsoft support fix it page now here they've got some fix it tools that you can try to use to fix some of your problems so if you go to this website here you'll see we've got Windows and Internet Explorer so if we click on uh, Windows you'll see there's some actual fixes here that you can try to use and repair some of the issues that you may be having okay now sometimes this doesn't always work and you would have to use other methods and I'll show you some of these a bit later on in the video but if you look here fix the problem with Microsoft uh, update you can try to use this to fix the pr problems that you may be having with Windows updates you've also got Internet Explorer and it has a load of fixes here that you can use now we're not going to go through um, fixes here and, and show you it in process because it will be too hard to replicate okay so we're just going to be going through some of the tools you can use let's have a look at box number one here we've got unhide now unhide will unhide all the issues with hidden uh, icons maybe desktop icons or maybe uh, icons in your menu and stuff like that are all missing this will unhide a lot of those or try to unhide them okay and it's a free program and I will put all the links in the description for you so you can download them now, if you don't know how to use these you can watch some of my previous videos on me using this tool uh, with rogues and stuff like that okay okay let's have a look at uh, number two we've got check permissions now permissions sometimes get changed and what this will do is it will run and try to change the permissions back okay so what you do is you open this up let me just show you this here so this will be uh, grant permissions so if there's something's been changed you can list the permissions in here that you want to change and unlock them and then you just click on this and it will unlock them okay I'm not going to show you how to use it uh, but we will be making videos and you'll see me use some of these uh, in previous or, or future videos but basically this will just unlock this area that's been changed by the malware next one we've got is programs won't open this is a common one uh, file associations and stuff like that but if we have a look inside here we've got a few different options we've got fixwin which is a nice little tool that you can use just uh, shut that down there so you can see so fixwin will do a system file checker you can run that from here create a restore point now system file checker is a great one to uh, to check uh, file systems and, uh, that have been changed or damaged by uh, malware also we've got Windows Explorer you can go through here and we've got an array of fixes here uh, explorer.exe and so on show hidden files uh, enable folder options and whatnot internet connections loads of fixes here and we've also as you can see down the bottom reset Internet Explorer settings to default loads of different uh, tools here that will aid you in your quest to fix your PC enable registry editor as you can see uh, enable command prompt sometimes these work sometimes they don't but we're going to show you some other tools later on that will help you fix these repair Windows Defender stuff like that okay all these will come in really handy when you're trying to fix windows so let me just have a look and see what else we had in there so we've got clean auto run that's uh, by Kaspersky I'm not going to run this one but basically yes yeah, by Kaspersky you can get this uh, for free off of their website and basically we'll clean all the auto runs on the system here we've also got a uh, seven quick fix and I'll show you that quickly seven quick fix is an awesome tool so here we have an array of tools here 
and as you can see there's a lot of enable registry editor enable command prompt and so on same as some of the other tools but you can pick and choose which ones you use and which ones you have success with some work some don't um, it's just trial and error really unless you know what you're doing manually then you can use these types of tools to try and help you out as you can see here there's loads of different tools here you've even got uh, tools to tweak your system to add these to your context menu here the add to uh, take ownership and add command prompt and so on okay that will fix the association part of your um, executables there's some other stuff uh, tools that I've got as well which aren't in here that I would use the the fix exe tool that you can get I'll put the links to those in there as well uh, for this part here fix host there's another area now the host file gets corrupted and you can see we can uh, do a permissions uh, with this bat file change the permissions and this will allow us to reset it we've also got tools that will allow us to change our host file and create a new one if you wish or edit it do do what you wish with this tool it's from funkytoad.com awesome uh, program for quick and easy access to the host file services is another area that gets attacked and uh, what we need to do here is you can run um, Farbar's service scanner tool you've seen me use this before and you can scan for areas on your system to find out what's been damaged by malware and then you can get um, say for instance if it's networking based you can actually repair those areas okay you would do a scan here search on your system and then once you've got your system scanned if you if it's networking issues you can download the networking registry keys from this website and you'll see it's for Windows 7 Vista and XP download these run these and then run another scan and you should see they will be fixed and you should be back up and running okay let's take a look at uh, fix uh, internet connections again uh, we've got another bat file here this is a simple bat file that you can run which will actually reset um, all the windsock and also you can see here what it's doing uh, in the text here IP config forward slash released renew and then flush uh, DNS if you don't want to do the bat file there's another tool you can use called mini toolbox and again you can flush DNS and so on and so on you can reset everything and you just put ticks in what you need and then click go now there is other tools out there guys these are not the only tools these are just some of the tools that you can use to aid you in uh, to fix your problems okay so Windows updates let's have a look at that and firewall again um, you can re-register the DLLs here okay with a bat file you can create your own bat files or you can use tweaking.com's repair tool which does a lot of repairs um, to the system I'm not just we just quickly do this here I'm not going to bother with the um, with the uh, restore point but if you see here we've got a lot of repairs reset registry permissions reset file permissions um, registry system files uh, repair WMI Windows uh, firewall Internet Explorer so this tool will do a lot of what the other tools do as well okay and you don't need to check all these you just check the ones that need to be fixed okay so if, if there's nothing wrong with certain areas then leave them well alone you know repair icons as you can see here one this one tool does a lot of what the other tools do okay so you can try this method as well now this works very well with Windows Update so if you've got a problem with Windows Update then you can take all the ticks out of the ones you don't need and then you just run the Windows Update another area that's commonly hit Windows uh, safe mode that normally gets damaged as well you can't get into safe mode this is a really good tool for fixing a lot of known issues after you've removed malware from the system okay next one Java there's another program we can call called Java Ra this is a cool little tool that deals with Java you can update remove um, update the Java definitions additional tasks and so on and so on and the settings tab here pretty easy to use 
Oh, there's one more program I wanted to show you here in the update area, which was by this company, another tool that you can use. This restores your computer back to defaults, all the security settings. You just run this and it will run in the background for a while. It, take, it can take up to 10 minutes depending on the speed of your computer and uh, it should restore a lot of those security uh, issues. Okay. Last but not least, uh, the security check tool, which will do a scan on your system and tell you what is out of date and what's uh, what sort of security checks that you've got on your system, i.e. whether the firewall's enabled, whether you've got antivirus and stuff like that. It tells you all that sort of good stuff, okay? So I hope this really helps you out, guys, in repairing some of your PCs rather than formatting and losing all your data. This is how you fix post-malware removal problems um, and my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I really do hope it really helps you out, okay? And if you do like the video, then hit the like button. And also, if you enjoy my videos and you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos, then hit the subscribe button, guys, okay? Have a great weekend, and I'll see you again real soon. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your support always. Bye for now.